Africa, the people, the wildlife, get into your blood. It's like being afflicted with a disease, but it's a disease you never want to get rid of. Among Namibia's many beauties is the Ehivavi Puka Conservancy. Living here is a small village stricken with hunger. Although trophy hunting is supposed to provide meat for such villages, there are some that claim that they have been left with nothing. It's a good thing getting meat from hunters because some people, they don't have food to eat at home and the conservancy used to provide meat for them. But now people does not get meat anymore. It's been the conservancy itself. It's not doing its job what you need to do. Killing is the big problem again. Yeah. The family claimed that although the community still resort to poaching, they find other ways to feed their family, such as cattle farming. There is many options, but not one of killing. Yeah, killing is a, it's not allowed even in the government of Namibia. With poaching still occurring, Will Travers, president of the Born Free Foundation, believes that we must find a better way of helping communities develop and thrive, and that there is little correlation between trophy hunting and increased wildlife populations. If you take another country where trophy hunting of elephants, for example, has existed for many, many years and still exists today, Tanzania, what happened to Tanzania's elephant population? Well, between 2009 and 2014, they lost 60,000 elephants to poachers. That's a thousand elephants on average every single month for five years. At some point, the tipping point will be reached and society will say, enough is enough.